Today we're going to be taking a look at World War III, uh, seeing how it's progressing in this closed beta phase, and whether or not this game knows what it is and what it really is trying to be. It was definitely not a smooth start to the closed beta test a few weeks ago, um, but this game has become a little more stable, quite a bit more stable in fact. Um, it's, we're still running into some issues where you're getting bounced out of servers, I mean, it looks to be maybe because um, it's loading you into a full server that it's already queued people up for and it's kicking out the extra queue. Uh, but in any regard, that is much better than it was before because you can still you can actually play games now, which is a huge up, <laughs> upgrade. Um, but there is something strange about this game, and, and it's hard to put my finger on it. And, and I think what it is is that you know when you're running around any of these maps that you get the opportunity to play in this particular uh, version of the game. You know, the movement feels good, very fluid, very fast. Um, there's a lot of this game that looks and feels a lot like Call of Duty in movement speed, um, even uh, weapon reload animations in, in certain times. Um, the call-in system is a lot like Call of Duty with, you know, essentially killstreak rewards. But, as I said, it just it doesn't feel like this game quite knows exactly what it is that it wants to be because on one hand it's you know it's hardcore in that it's easy to it's easier to kill people and get killed, but then right next to that you've got six HUD mel HUD elements going on, um, and you're calling you know I guess you're calling in kill streaks. It's just a little bizarre. It just doesn't seem like it understands what, exactly what it is that it wants to be, and it'd be nice to maybe streamline that a little bit. Um, the maps right now are get a little stale. There's only a few, there's only a handful. Uh, there's only two game modes as well. Uh, this for the closed beta test. Obviously, there will be more of all of those uh, once the game fully launches. Um, but right now, look, this game's got potential that it just doesn't seem to be tapping into quite yet. Um, also, I know I talked about it in the last video I did on this game, but the audio in this is absolutely atrocious. It's really, really bad, and it's really hard to look past it, honestly. And it's really the only thing that give it, makes it hard for me to enjoy playing this right now uh, for any extended period of time. Um, you're going to get killed by people you have no idea are there. You're not going to hear vehicles that are next to you um, until you're shot by them. It's it's just not very good. <laughs> the audio is really bad, and I you know I hesitate to say that they need to do a full remix, but I mean they really do. I mean they they really need better audio samples or better audio sounds in general for the gun effects, for the vehicles, for the player footsteps. Like even when you do hear these things, they don't sound good either. So. I, you know that to me is the biggest thing they need to fix. I mean, I, they've been fixing all the stability issues um, slowly but surely uh, every day or so. I mean, there's something new is being implemented, and uh, you're getting a new hot fix, and those seem to be working great. But the audio is is just the standout, you know, no no right now. So uh, let me know what you guys think um, if you've been playing this at all, uh, if you're interested in picking it up. Uh, either way, I do appreciate you stopping by today, and I hope you have a great week.